Curdy's first hold. Hey, Kurt. Mm -hmm. just in with the baby boy in the special care nursery at the moment he got his first cuddle last night which he was just like so excited about he'd been dying to give him a cuddle and a hold ever since he was born he's doing amazing i managed to breastfeed for the very first time last night which is definitely something so special for me because i never actually had the opportunity to breastfeed miller with having her cleft so we had such a good night. I have had loads of adrenaline though, so I have not had much sleep at all, like maybe three hours all night. I've just been tossing and turning and I'm pretty sore because he came so quick. I had pretty bad tearing. I had second degree tearing. Um, and yeah, my stomach cramps and that are just really sore. My legs are really sore. I'm actually a lot more sore after this labor versus um, my labor with Miller. I think it just all happened a bit too quick, but we're all doing really well. I'm just about to get up now and have a shower and get ready for my day. Miss Miller will be coming up today to meet her baby brother for the first time, which I'm so excited about. And our families will be coming up to meet Lincoln as well. But yeah, I'm just on cloud nine. Kurt and I were just looking at each other last night, just going, you don't think that you'll feel the same way your second time around as you did your first, because it's just like such an overwhelming feeling. But we both definitely felt it all over again. Um, and yeah, we're just like loving every single moment right now. But anyways, I'm going to jump in, have a shower, wash my hair, freshen up <laughs> as much as I can. And I'll see you guys later. So guys, we're just sitting down eating some breakfast. About to go and see our little boy again, and then in the next like half hour, Miller will be up, and my mum, and I think her son. And then I think the whole family's gonna like slowly roll in throughout the day. Yeah, my brother Taylor will be there. Yeah. I can't see Miller. Awesome. hear my father's voice he would tell me to move on he would say i'll be just fine yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to eat <laughs> It's Lincoln. Is he so cute? She's quite a voice now. Why is Mum still there? 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 Why is Mum still I touch his arm? She's like, I don't know about that. Look what baby Lincoln got you. That's from your baby brother. Yeah. Baby Lincoln got it from you. Can you see that open it? Look at that. 
Hi, beautiful girl. Look, look, look what baby Lincoln got you. We can yeah. open it. Maybe we, we can. can we can open it. Who is it? We can. We can open it. Yeah. Is it? Look, what else he got you? Oh, we, we can we can open it. And then... I'll open it. Where? Know. Daddy, open it. Daddy, open it. Open the tiki, my tiki, my open the tiki, my you, my tiki winky. Yeah. <laughs> tiki. They're from they're from baby brother. Your baby brother so got them for you. Baby Lincoln, your wags. <laughs> me, me, me open that one. Yeah, Daddy's yeah. gonna open it for you. Oh, oh my dog. Oh, my dog. <laughs> oh, my dog. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, baby Bella. That's yeah. from baby brother. Lincoln got it for you. Two. Oh, oh no. my dog. Oh, my dog. You're so pretty. Oh, my dog. You're so pretty. Oh. Look! Look! It says baby Lincoln too! It's, 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 you gave it to him! No, that's, he gave it to you! Lincoln gave it to Miller! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you love it? Hi Tinky Minky! He's so pretty! Is it? He's so beautiful! You say thank you Lincoln! Oh, she wants to put it in next to him. <laughs> this is Miller's. Just Lincoln got these for you. For Miller. She goes, you're okay, baby. Oh. <laughs> you want to give it to him? No. It's just rubbish. She thinks that's it. That's Miller's one. Okay. Will you give it to baby? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. Do you love him? We can have another mum. Okay. Get another baby. That is, but this one's your baby that we get to bring home. Yeah, we're going to take him home. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's not letting go of her wags of dog. again saying goodbye to Mila. She was pretty good though. I just explained to her. I was like, mummy's got to stay at the hospital with baby brother, but she'll see you again tomorrow morning. You can come up and see mummy and baby brother again. And after like the 10th time of saying it, she kind of got the gist of it. But seeing her cry and being like, no mummy, no. It's just like, the, it's just heartbreaking. Never gets easier. But by the end of it, she wasn't crying and she was leaving going, bye bye mummy, I love you. So at least it like left on a good note. Baby boy isn't doing that great. He's actually had his like worst day today. Um, so his blood sugar levels were really, really low. I think they were 1.7. They did an x-ray on one of his lungs and just checking that everything's okay. They're thinking there might be something wrong with one of his lungs. It's had a slight temperature. It's just kind of everything's kind of taken a bit of a turn, which this is exactly what happened with Miller. It was like a day or so later that things started to go a little bit bad in the special care nursery. But the ladies here have been absolutely amazing um, and they're all taking really good care of him and really good care of me. And I know he's in the best place possible, but I am really missing those. But I am really missing those newborn snuggles. But we're all doing okay. He's perfectly fine. His pediatrician isn't worried about him or anything like that. He's just needing a little bit of extra love and care. But all the visitors have just left, so I'm going to lay down and have a little nap. And then later this afternoon, I think both my dad and Kurt's dad might pop down to see him. But no one's been able to hold him yet, except for Kurt and I. Um, he's also now got a drip on to help with his blood sugar. 
um, and they're just basically trying to keep him off CPAP. So they're thinking of having the oxygen thing on him, but they're trying their best to not have to do that. And they might need to give him antibiotics, but he's he's okay. He's doing well. So guys, I was just closing my eyes about to take a nap, and one of the beautiful nurses just walked in to tell me that Bub is on the CPAP, so it's like an oxygen mask. His breathing's not going great. <laughs> So I'm going to have a nap because there's no one here right now, Kurt's not even here, and then I'm going to go in and see him. It's been so hard though, like I just literally want to cuddle him um, and have that really nice bonding that you normally get to have with the newborn, but I am used to it because I had the exact same sort of thing happen with Miller. Um, it never gets easier though. Cody's yeah. here. <laughs> Call it off Let it go All for nothing I should have known I've made mistakes Crashed and burned So many so we just went and sat in there with Lincoln for like hours. That was so quick, it was about three hours. Um, and he's doing okay. They are thinking um, when I was sick throughout my pregnancy, how I had that little hiccup in the middle and they couldn't quite figure out what it was that maybe he has got that. Um, so they're thinking that they're going to run a course of antibiotics. While we were in there at one stage, she got really distressed and I was just like, bawling my eyes out it's just so hard when you see a baby that sad and you can't pick them up and comfort them it's just your motherly instinct it's just exactly what you want to do but he's doing okay i'm feeling really good kurt is really well lincoln's pediatrician will be coming around soon to let us know whether they're going to do the antibiotics or not but i'm pretty sure that they're probably going to just to be safe thank goodness that we had the steroid shots because it would have been so much worse um if we hadn't had them midway through the pregnancy as well but everyone is good and everyone is okay i just got a bunch of beautiful flowers delivered into the room so i have to go and open up all the cards once i'm finished eating but i'm one very lucky lady i can't wait to snuggle him and have him home but at the same time i know this is just the best place for him to be i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys soon do you want to say bye Hello, everybody. <laughs>